Welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial. Today we are going to design and assemble a small turn buckle. This is 300 kg. It will take 300 kg up to. It is very easy and simple design. Let's see how to make in SolidWorks. I hope you like it. So let's start. Let's start the first part of turn buckle. Clevis forge clevis M10 with M10 thread. So let's start. Choose front plane and select here center point. Okay. Now let's start a geometry. Just start above the origin point. and convert it and draw a one curve and draw a vertical line horizontal line and connect up to this construction line now select this origin point and select this line and make relation coincide that's it now we will try to reverse a mirror select this all geometry and mirror about this construction line and let's okay and uh, select here three point arc okay now let's start to define 14 mm now select this gap keep 5 mm now define this radius 11 mm keep the gap 10 mm now define the distance from one end 128 mm that's it now the distance from here to this point let's make 28 mm that's it this by default okay okay now this all defined this is also by default uh, okay let's define this gap uh, it's already defined 10 mm now select extruded boss keep mid plane and select 20 mm width ok now define the material go to metal and choose steel and we prefer stainless steel finish now select top plane sketch normal first draw a center line let's make one just mirror this line ok and connect in one end exit now let's select here we will select center point arc and let's start from this point to this point exit now select this outer line and this arc tangent relation the same here tangent relation and keep the last one tangent relation okay 
now select this end keep 10 mm okay select line draw up to this end and this end and connect with this end now let's define this gap keep 24 mm ok select these three lines make relation symmetric ok now let's try to extrude We want to cut outer portion, not inside portion. So just define the proper things. Cancel, select line and connect these two ends also. Now try to cut. Select this cutout and select here this cutout. Select here through all both. Ok. See this is our remaining. This is what we want. Select this face a sketch normal and we want to create a hole here so first find out this circle you will just uh, bring uh, keep here and you will get the di center point and draw a di circle and keep the diameter 10.5 mm and select extruded cut through all see here ok that's it now it's time to make this round choose fillet keep 5 mm and select this all four corners select ok see it's become a round shape again choose 5 mm select this edge ok see select 5 mm select these two sides ok 0.5 mm and select inside ok now see it is become round shape now choose chamfer Keep 0.5 mm and select this face and this face. Ok, that's it. Now again, choose chamfer, 0.5 mm and this edge. Ok. See. Edit this. And keep chamfer 1.5 mm. 45 degree ok now select this face sketch now here we want to create some thread draw a circle here and keep the diameter 8.38 mm ok first we have to create the path so just go to helix and spiral and we want to create here a path choose pitch and revolution constant and uh, select pitch 1.5 mm revolution 53.33 this is what we want 0 degree clockwise 
ओके सेलेक्ट टॉप प्लेन स्केच नॉर्मल एंड हियर वी विल ड्रॉ ए टीच प्रोफाइल सो ड्रॉ फर्स्ट ए ट्राइंगल लेट्स ड्रॉ ए सेंटर लाइन मेक श्योर इट इज वर्टिकल इट इज हॉरिजोंटल नाउ लेट्स डिफाइन वन पॉइंट सिक्स एम एम दी लेंथ एंड कीप द एंगल सिक्सटी डिग्री ओके नाउ सेलेक्ट दिस पॉइंट प्रेस स्केप एंड सेलेक्ट दिस पाथ एंड मेक पियर्स सी इट इज फिक्स नाउ इट इज फुल्ली डिफाइंड सो जस्ट एग्जिट नाउ इट्स टाइम टू मेक थ्रेड कटिंग गो टू फीचर टूल्स एंड सेलेक्ट हियर वन फीचर टूल्स स्विफ्ट कट सी हियर प्रोफाइल सेलेक्टेड जस्ट सेलेक्ट दी पाथ now it's calculating it's already calculated select okay sub time it it takes time because of calculation now see this is the our turn buckle is ready this is the clevis for turn buckle see this is the stainless steel material so just save it go to desktop create a new folder turn buckle m10 and keep the part number 1 clavis clavis with m10 thread save now let's see the next part let's make the next part turn buckle body so let's start choose front plane sketch select circle and draw here two circles let's draw a center line now select offset entity keep here 6 mm and select this line select bidirectional okay now let's define the diameter outer diameter keep 30 mm and inner diameter keep 22 mm see here that's it select a horizontal line select this three line or do one thing just simply extend this line up to this circle make sure both the line collinear okay now we want to trim some lines choose trim entity trim this inside lines
uh, just reverse back okay now uh, select trim entity and trim first outer line that's it now select trim this inside line now select this lines okay now this is what geometry we want okay now this 6 mm and inner and outer line make sure both the line in same plane select extruded boss keep mid plane and extrude up to 150 mm okay see that's it this is the main body now again choose front plane sketch normal now select this both side line press convert entities now it is converted let's draw us horizontal and vertical center lines or construction lines select here three point arc select this point to this point now select the now we want to make define this position so select star point and put one star here select dimension keep this distance 8 mm okay just mirror this curve or arc against horizontal line okay now this is the one geometry and we want to cut it select extruded cut keep here mid plane select 120 mm okay see we cut from the inside select right plane sketch normal and here we want to make some revolve cut so first draw a center line select a line now let's define this keep 11 mm and bottom 5 mm and the distance from center line keep 11 mm and this one keep 14 mm let's revolve cut see it's going to cut revolve okay now let's do one thing just mirror this cut out so choose here front plane mirror and select this last revolve cut okay see it is cut it here now let's define fillet keep 2 mm select this face this all faces actually we want to make 2 mm delete okay again choose 2 mm clear select this face i think we need to select one by one keep 2 mm that's it select here also this two edges ok 
okay now select some one more time Now this all side selected already. Let's try this anything balance. I think this inside face, not this time. it is asking some error or no need now choose chamfer keep 1.5 and select both the end ok now select this end sketch normal and here we want to create a throughout hole so let's make a hole and keep the diameter eight point three eight mm okay and select extruded cut select here through all see okay Now again choose chamfer and select 1.5 mm and select both the end chamfer. Okay. Now inside we want to create some hole, some pitch here inside. So select this face sketch and first we want to create a path for thread. So let's draw a circle and keep the diameter 10 mm let's go to curves and helix and spiral keep pitch and revolution 1.5 mm and 11 mm revolution 0 degree clockwise ok now select top plane sketch normal and here we will draw a profile select triangle line and draw one triangle here exit select this line construction line horizontal now let's define the keep angle 60 degree and select this length one point six zero six mm okay now select the center point or sharp edge of rectangle and select this path and make relation peers okay now it is peers select exit and just go to feature tool and select swift cut now see here profile is selected just select this path see it's already calculated select ok now see here we created a thread inside now we just mirror this thread to another side so just do one thing select right plane mirror and select drag down this menu and choose swift cut okay 
now see it's going to mirror in opposite direction you can see it here it's already mirror that's it now select this face a sketch normal now we will do one thing draw a center line keep the distance 0.7 mm select text select this line and here write the text left select this 95 percent 120 this is the gap font keep less 2 mm that's it okay again draw the same line here now let's define the gap first do one thing make the line horizontal now let's define the 0.7 mm now choose this line and define right Okay, ninety five percent one twenty and define the height two mm. Select here center or keep center. Select okay. Now select extruded boss. Now see all the letters are selected and extrude up to only 0.2 mm see ok choose fillet 0.1 mm or define less I think it will take much time so it's better to avoid this fillet just do one thing select this boss first we will assign metal uh, metal to this body so select the whole body go to paint car select metallic metallic gold and let's adjust this metallic gold from here we want yellowish color ok see now save this body part 2 turn buckle body or simply write body no need turn buckle let's see the next part Let's make the next part bold for turn buckle. Select front plane. 
choose a line directly and draw a line up to origin point upward down and this is a kind of bold geometry yeah, we want we, we will make a simple bold not much complicated 5 mm 30 mm okay just drag this here Three mm, and keep this height seven point five mm. Okay, and select revolve boss base. Okay, choose chamfer. Select both the end faces. Okay. Now let's select top plane, sketch, normal. First, draw a center line. Select circle and draw a circle here. We want to create a hole here. Distance from outer edge three mm, and the diameter of the hole keep two point five mm. Okay, and select extruded cut. Keep here mid plane through all both. both side okay see chamfer 0.5 mm and select this inside edge okay go to material appearance metal steel and we prefer satin finish stainless steel see this is a kind of bolt not a standard bolt just save it part number 3 bolt let's see the next part now here we will make the next part m10 washer front plane is sketch select circle and draw two circles from origin point let's keep outer diameter 15 mm and inside diameter 10.5 mm okay and let's extrude it only 2 mm mid plane okay let's select chamfer Keep point five mm. Select both the outer edges. Go to appearance, steel, satin finish, stainless steel, or select polished steel. So this is the washer. Now save the part number four. washer m10 now let's see the last part pin here let's make the last part pin so choose front plane sketch select center line and draw a horizontal center line select here center point r and start to draw from origin point exit now select both the end point and make relation vertical okay now select a line and start from this point go back to this parts and it will automatically convert into line then can draw a line exit now select both the lines mirror do one thing just select mirror and select both the lines mirror about this line 
okay now select these two lines make relation tangent here it's already tangent so now let's define the dimension keep radius 1.26 mm keep radius 3 mm okay that's it now define the length 8 mm see select a line and select this point convert it and draw a circle then again draw a line let's define this keep radius 3 mm now extend this center center line Four mm. Okay. Now select this center point of this arc and I think it's no need. This is sufficient. So choose mirror. Select these two points, two arcs, and mirror about this line. now select exit or just re-edit select star and put one star here and define this gap 0.6 mm okay now exit now we want to create first plane select front plane select these two points see and keep perpendicular to the front plane okay now select this plane a sketch normal now this is the point Now here we want to draw a geometry. Select both the line and make relation e equal. select three point arc and connect both both the lines select three point arc and okay put one star here now define this gap first define this length one 
1.1 mm now define this gap 1.09 mm okay now simply exit now let's select go to feature tool select sweep boss base and select see okay see this is the body of pin keep chamfer Point five mm. Select both the end. Okay. Now see. Just hide this plane. Now save this pin. Polish the steel. Save it. The last part. Pin. Let's start the assembly of turn buckle. Select new assembly, okay. And this is the assembly window of SolidWorks. So we will browse our first part body. Okay. This is the our first part. Now let's bring the next part. Clevis with M10 thread. Okay. Let's make the first mat. Select this face and select this face and make relation co-centric. That's it. Now you can insert inside. Okay. Now we will define a very important mat, a screw mat. First select this face and select this thread face. That's it. Revolution per mm keep 1 mm. 1 mm. Okay. Okay. Now let's see. See it is rotating. Uh, later we will see it will easily move. Let's add another parts. Bolt or let's bring the all parts. Washer and pin. Select mat. Select this bolt and this hole. Make relation co-centric. Okay. Select this upper face and the bottom face of bolt. It is fixed. The same as here. Select better select this hole and washer. Co-centric. The face of washer and the face of clevis. Coincident. Okay. Now it's time to fix the pin. Select tangent. Or choose first parallel okay again choose tangent select here reverse okay now select this inside face and this face make the gap 0.4 mm. 0.3 mm. Okay. Now see the pin is fixed here. Okay. Now we will just mirror this pin.
select here body front plane of this body go to linear drop down this linear menu select component mirror component now select this parts which washer select here next see you can see the preview okay now let's see drop down this now here let's create one more relation met select this face and this face and make relation tangent okay okay now let's see now rotate see it is rotating as per plan now we will add one more relation select these two faces go to advanced mat select 120 mm and minimum 0 mm okay okay now let's let's drag inside So this is the our turn buckle. I hope you like it. Let's for save it. Assembly. Please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SolidWorks and don't forget to share and like our video. And thanks for watching.